guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is day two of attempting to be on YouTube every single day for a month on the weekdays. So today's short chat is about how I started my design business. Yesterday I talked a little bit about how I manage work with Crohn's disease and I touched on the fact that I own my own business, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit more about how I was able to get started. So in 2018, 2019, I was feeling super unmotivated and anxious about my future because I was graduating and getting ready to graduate and I just loved doing so many different things that I didn't really know what kind of career I wanted to go into. I knew that I loved branding and design, um, but I just kind of felt like I needed a little bit of a break and I saw a lot of people starting to go on trips where they're taking a gap year like post-college but I wasn't sure if I was brave enough to do that yet. So I spent some time working at a small design studio and freelancing. So that's kind of when my business started, but I did not make it full time. I was still looking for jobs, thinking about my future, what my next steps would be, whether or not I wanted to get my master's. Um, I had also lost someone that was really close to me and it really threw me for a loop and I felt like I hit rock bottom because I, it really forced me to take a look at my life and think about what I really wanted to do because I just had this mindset of that life is too short to be doing anything you don't want to do. Um, but ironically, I was super unhappy during this time. Um, I try to usually stay positive, but that was just the reality for um, quite some time. And so I started therapy and I started thinking about what I want to do and um, in the new year, in 2020, I went on a trip to California and I started feeling inspired again. And then that's when I was diagnosed with Crohn's. I got food poisoning and things just really fell to pieces all over again. And then of course, we all know what happened in March of 2020. Um, so yeah, I started my health coaching classes and I didn't have the mindset that I wanted to become a health coach. I just wanted to do it for myself and because at that point, I was really getting into wellness and taking care of my body. It was really a wake up call to say, I'm not taking care of myself. The stress and the grief have really gotten to my body. How can I help manage these symptoms myself? And that really started my whole wellness journey and my journey into wellness. The most helpful thing I've ever heard in my life was that rock bottoms mean that you are close to reaching your goals and that it's gonna turn the corner and that rock bottoms actually, you can reframe them to be something really beautiful and that you know, you're looking for the next thing that is really going to align with you and that you're not going to take any more shit, for lack of a better word, um, in your life anymore. This was the time of my life where I really started working on my mindset and reading a lot of books and really thinking about starting my business full time. Again, like I mentioned yesterday, I really wasn't expecting to start a business. I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur one day, but I had always imagined that it would be when I had kids and wanted to be um, able to stay home with them and be with them. Um, but I just really decided at that point that not many people are working in the office anyways anymore. A lot more studios are looking for consultants and people who they can bring on as contractors. So that's where I started. Another thing that really helped was working on my mindset and reframing that I need to work a nine to five and work my way up the ladder to make a lot of money. That's just not true. And so I started surrounding myself and learning from mentors and speaking to people and doing informational interviews. Um, to learn about their stories and what they did that was really helpful in order for them to become consultants and make even more money than they were in their nine to five. And at this point, it was around April, 2021, about a year later, I was into my health coaching course um, that I had started in January. And I watched a talk by this woman, Kate McKinnon, who is a feng shui practitioner, very, very lovely. She had the most beautiful talk on IIN as a guest lecturer and I just really resonated with what she was saying so I reached out to her just went on a whim and felt very aligned with her so I sent her an email and just said do you need an assistant what can I do for you do you need any help at all and I heard back from her 
and that's where I'm gonna leave it today and tomorrow I will talk a little bit about my next steps in my business but that is how I essentially got started and made it possible to earn money while having a bunch of flexibility and just really live my dream life much sooner than I thought I'd be able to. So I hope you find this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions that you want me to talk about, leave them below and I will talk about them in the next month. Thank you.